Okay, we're getting this match started now. It is Gilbert Najim of the Burbanks Elks Lodge versus Cal Cafe Buyada's very own Vicky Pineda. This is going to be a good match. These two players are no stranger to each other. They've played many, many times. They know each other for many years. And it looks like Vicky is going to uh, win the break off. So he will be white. This is an even, evenly matched race to 30 points. And Vicky making the hardest shot of all, the break shot. And a friendly shout out to my friend, uh, <coughs> Tony Senti, TC in LA, Tony C in LA. How you doing, Tony? Glad you could make it to watch this event. Don't forget to hit the like button and the share button and uh, get more people interested in three cushion billiards. Gilbert Najem is, uh, he's originally from Lebanon, but is an American citizen. And what else can I say? He's an ambassador of the game. You can find him at the Burbanks Elks Lodge where he is the director of the billiard curriculum there uh, at their room in Burbank. Burbank's Lodge 1937, is that it, Joe? You're asking me, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's 1937 or 1947. Anyway, uh, Gil Najem is uh, uh, truly a gentleman. And uh, has expressed also some interest in uh, working with POV Pool to provide and uh, to produce a few instructional uh, videos on the game, on the sport of three cushions. So hopefully um, toward the beginning of 2019, we will be able to release uh, we'll be able to produce some video, uh, uh, exclusive video with Gilbert Najem on POV Pool uh, to help you guys learn this game of three cushion and uh, to promote the game a little more. So even race to 30 points and this is Vicky's home turf. So I would actually venture to guess that uh, Vicky would be the favorite to win this particular match. But anything is possible when you're determined, when you uh, when you have a passion for the game and you have exceptional knowledge and experience such as these two players do. I will basically say that this game is a coin toss uh, with a slight edge going to Vicky. These tables were recovered very recently by Insu Park.
who is a uh, uh, sought after table mechanic uh, originally from Korea. But he certainly knows his stuff when it comes to uh, maintaining billiard tables. Come long, long here. Vicky Pineda, sponsored by Tiger, and uh, also is, uh, he's, you know, the main promoter of this particular tournament. He works very hard here at Cal Cafe Villares as a tournament director on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and also uh, promotes the game. We're lucky to have him. involved. Nice thin hit on the red. Looks like it might be a point. Gil, Najem, and Vicky have been uh, on POV pool before. Specifically, B Gil Najem uh, was recorded in 2016 uh, in a phenomenal match against Hugo Patino, uh, coming from behind to defeat the 2016 national champion, Hugo Patino. After uh, coming back from an eight-point deficit, uh, Gil Najem was able to beat uh, Hugo. Beat two kisses there, uh, but came up short.
It's a five rail, I think. A little long. Well, this is a difficult position. The red ball is very small. And uh, there's a lot of distance here. This is a very kissy shot, too. He'll probably go, I think he's going back and forth. No, nope, he's going a round table. And yeah, much too long. Once again, don't forget to like, hit the thumbs up button down there and, and share. Swing and a miss by Vicky. And I think we're going to see this red removed now from the corner. Is George going to come by? I have no idea. I'm hoping to uh, run into George Aranek, who was uh, one of the founders of the uh, United States Billiard Association back in the uh, late 60s, and who often makes appearances at uh, events that are local like these. And Vicky, Vicky ran out of, he got the point. Got the point, thought he ran out of gas at $4 a gallon. <laughs> it wouldn't be a surprise. Frozen ball, so that gives uh, the player the option to play into it or uh, spot the two frozen balls, and that's what Vicky's going to do. And he'll play through uh, because he just got that point. I suppose the, uh, the the white ball decided to settle right on top of the yellow, so he got the billiard. Another good point. Oh, that ball slid off the rail, didn't it? You knew it wasn't hitting, didn't you? 
You knew it. I didn't know it. I'll learn. Yeah. Okay, Gil, what's it going to be? Going to go off the red. Yeah, I like the red. Is he playing with the force follow? Yes, that's how he played it. Vicky's not leaving him very easy. I've noticed the past couple of innings has left him a little tough. And uh, this, yeah, this is a good ticky shot right here. And Vicky went around it. So. Off the top of the red, probably come to the right short rail, the right long rail. It's difficult though. Oh, he played that so nice. No reward though. He played it very nicely. This is, uh, you know, one of the only games where you can play a great shot and still miss. Hey, Hector Ocampo in the house. Another Tiger shirt walks through. <laughs> they were they were cheap, he says. It's like, I mean, I swear there must be at least a dozen Tiger shirts around here today. Vicky get that point? I think he did, yeah. 7-3 now. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Very hard to come out of that corner like that. <coughs> That takes a lot of precision. And he just, you know, he used just enough to come through uh, and not overspin out of the uh, corner that way. It was a great shot.
Vicky is off to the races. the table pretty big ball he can still go around and miss though no, he hits it well Short, long, uh, long, short, and then oh, this is this is going to be perfect. Good shot, Vicky. Well, Vicky can play this. Uh, he can play this off the red. Play long, short, long. Uh, he's he's got to kind of hit almost center ball off the. Yeah, exactly like that. Off the red, and that was perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong screen. I'm looking at the delayed screen. I apologize. So that commentary I was just giving you was on the shot that he, uh, the billiard that he already made. My mistake, folks. I apologize. But Vicky just did it again. And this is good. This is good for Vicky. This is like run of uh, six. Is this six? I think it is, isn't it? Correction. <laughs> Let's make that seven. <clears throat> I told you guys, he's comfortable here. Sapo, run of seven, highest so far today that I've seen <coughs> on our feature table. Buena ley, Vicky Pineda. So Gil has his hands full, but I wouldn't count him out. thin off the white four rails around good shot this opens the door a little bit for Gill and you better believe Gill's not going to go out without a fight this much I know.
a uh, little bit, huh? That door needs to be closed. Hold on. Could somebody shut? Thank you. Shut that door. Thank you. We got a glare. Okay, what did I miss? Did I miss anything? Oh, Vicky made another billiard. All right. Welcome back to Oakland in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Good to see you again. Our story so far, Vicky has had a run of six, or, uh, or was it seven? I have forgotten. In uh, this match against Gil Najem, Gil is fighting back. He's down now nine points. Even race to 30. Gil Garcia, hello. We've missed you so much. Hello from Geraldine and myself. I know I can speak for her when I say that we both miss you. We well, hope you're doing well. You probably know Gil Garcia, right, Joe Bello? From the Golden Q. Yeah. I know, I'm just, oh, you got him that job. Joe, I'm sitting right next to Joe Bello. He wants his cut. <laughs> now, I, I actually, I thought that was the harder of the shots, but I mean, they were both, it was all hard. It was difficult. kiss of death. Gil, this is a three-day event. Uh, maybe you could come by. You know, it would be nice to see you here at Cal Cafe Bilares. Uh, come, come, come on down to uh, Whittier Boulevard, my friend, and come say hello. I'll buy you a cerveza. Bring your wife. Or don't bring your wife. Just get over here. Exceptional shot by Gill. The 
you're giving away $1,000 Q here, a Tiger Q, TL, TCL3. So come and get a ticket and uh, you know be eligible for the drawing. <coughs> Gil says hi. What's up, buddy? Good. Played good matches? I didn't play yet. Oh, you haven't played yet? Oh. First game against Oh, with, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Best of luck. shot you know <laughs> Vicky must have been here till two in the morning I'm surprised he's playing so well you know it's not easy to play this game when you're tired it's hard to yeah it's hard to play anything when you're tired you know but uh, I digress right Oh, swing and a miss. Vicky uh, will relinquish the table to Gil, who's down 10 points against Vicky. So it's time to get to work, Gil. Give us a good match. Get, we need our money's worth on the live stream. <laughs> It's, it's tough. Wants to hit very thin, come around four rails. But he, might, he, may, he may actually have to back into the... Uh, no. Yeah, he's backing in. That's a good shot. There you go. Good backup, sir. Got it on the sixth rail. <laughs> Looks like he's playing a, a ticky. Aye, too flat off the last cushion. Off the second cushion, actually, it was too flat. This 
Should be an easy shot, I think, for uh, for Vicky. He got it. Yeah. I think relatively good position as well. Unless he's elevated over this. Uh, he might have to play off the red, come around table. He's looking to come off the yellow. He could double the rail as well and play a uh, ticky or a bank shot. He, now he, I think he wants to mass A over the yellow. I don't know if I like that shot. The real shot is the bank here off the red, but I, I think I, I actually, I like doubling the rail as well. And playing a bank. Maybe not. No. Yeah, he's gonna play the right shot, which is the bank. He's gonna come into the yellow. A little too, too direct into the yellow. So I'm, I'm having a monocular delivered to me by 4 p.m. So after 4 p.m., my scoring here will be uh, twice as accurate. <laughs> then I'll be able to see the score. That's good. Vicky's in control of this match. Gil needs a miracle. It's not easy, but he can play off the top of red uh, or the white, but I think he's going to play off the red for five, five rails into the white. Oh, he's playing direct. Very nice shot. And to play it like that, you know, you're, if you miss, you're leaving, you're leaving your opponent very easy. So Gil played very confidently there. One thing I know about Gil, he has no lack of confidence. He is a good, confident player. Very seldom do I see him play uh, uh, in a comfortable manner.
Gill just took a glance over here as if to say, I hope you delete this when it's over. <laughs> The ball, yes, it's true. Joe Bello just says the balls, they run funny sometimes. It's, it's so true. That's a good, good bank. I don't think that was a hit, actually. Let's take a look real quick here. No good. No Billiardo. Oh, up and down. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the red going up and down. I'm sorry. <laughs> little bit exasperated. Uh, Gil wants to do well, wants to play well, and um, he does get disappointed when he doesn't play well. Not in a bad sport way, but just in, a, you know, sort of uh, uh, often to himself. He'll never make anybody feel bad for beating him. He just wants to know he played a good match, that's all. <laughs> Everybody does. I've lost matches and still walked away feeling like, you know, this was a very good match. I played one of the best matches of my life, you know. We all want to walk away feeling like that.
five rails around. There you go, sir. Like to say hello to all the. Do you think they're watching this over at the club? Like, well, I'd just like to say hello to everybody. Benny and Hank and Poncho and Herman. Oh, why aren't they here? They should be here. And Billy and Ryan and Chris Cash, Axel. Yeah, they're all going to be playing golf later tonight, talking about today. at the Elks Lodge. Oh, what a beautiful bank. Trying to come from underneath the, the red and, and umbrella to the white. Beautiful attempt. Hello to Vornam Achternam in Holland, who is watching today. Glad you could join us. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and uh, share and let everyone know in Europe that uh, we are broadcasting this event. We appreciate your visiting us. Yes, it is Good Friday. It is Good Friday. So I guess you all have a pass in this. Well, we almost have a packed house already. Vicky's on fire a little bit, uh, you know, and there's no stopping that no matter how good you are. When your opponent is uh, running well, it can be tough, but sometimes it brings out the best in us. What do you do here, Joe? Outside past the yellow. Uh, well, it looks like he's putting reverse on it. He's going to try to pass the yellow on the, uh, on the right side. Oh, no. He's just playing up and down. Oh, look at this. A little bit of help. A little bit of help. Mm. 
little bit of traffic going on right now, so Vicky's just waiting for people to play through. That's Alan. Um, Alan Jensen from Denmark. Only two cushions, folks. Long, short, long. Oh, no. Reverse spin around the table. And shots like that, by the way, folks, if you're a pool player, shots like that, uh, they only come up ever so often on a pool table, but they come up quite often on a three-cushion table. Um, that shot on a pool table is almost like a trick shot. Uh, whereas the the balls being heavier and the rails and the and the and the cloth being uh, uh, faster here, that shot's actually a lot easier to execute on this table with this type of equipment. I believe we're at 24 to 11. I could be mistaken, those beads are moving quickly, but uh, I also cannot see them from here, so m I apologize. For any discrepancy in scoring, but uh, this is a pretty wide gap. I guess if uh, Gil starts to close the gap, I will, uh, I'll see if I can't get a more accurate read. And Gil's done this before. Don't, don't, don't be fooled. He's come back back from massive deficits to win. That was nice. That was beautiful. It's about really getting grooved into the speed of the table. I haven't seen him practice here at all, <coughs> except for his five minutes before the match. <coughs> and, um, uh, uh, you know, three cushion, um, I I I contrary to pool, pool or snooker, uh, three cushion is, uh, the, the, the tables are very sensitive to playing conditions. So it's, it's very important to practice in the room that you're uh, competing in.
because uh, you have to get used to the playing conditions. Sometimes the table will run long, short, fast, slow. Uh, you know, the balls are often thoroughly cleaned, but it all depends on what material is being used to clean those balls. A lot of factors can come into play. <coughs> These tables are heated. Um, there can be variances in the heating. There can be variances in the humidity in the room. So for Gil to come into this match almost cold is uh, it's a difficult place to be in. Stunless ball. He'll come long, short, uh, up table and around for a direct hit on the red. Oh, he's going for the fifth rail. Does he get there? Just missed. So far as I can tell, 12 points behind now. Unless, actually, it might be 26 points for uh, Vicky, which would actually make it 14 points behind. That was beautiful. That's going to be a direct hit. You folks at home, you may, if you don't play this game, you may think some of these shots look pretty easy. <laughs> but <laughs> I can assure you they are not. <laughs> I know from personal experience. Oh no. What a heartbreak for Gil. Who's trying so hard to stay in this match. He really is. the left side of the yellow three rails around he hit it too thick <laughs> even those uh, even those natural angles are very difficult when you have 10 feet between you and your object ball
Oh. Wow, that would have been a phenomenal backup, huh? Is that what he was doing? I got to check in with Joe Bello for a reality reality check once in a while because uh, I'm still learning this game. I guess we all are, aren't we? Yeah. How long? You've been playing for how long? I don't know. 30? Yeah. 15, 20 years. 15, 20 years? Yeah. Yes. This is live. Yes. What's their name on Facebook? What's their name on Facebook? My name? Their name. Is it in Korean? Yeah, it's Korean. Okay. So what's your name on Facebook? Korean. Korean. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. What's the pool room? Should I put a letter? No, because it's a Korean letter, huh? It's a character. Request me on Facebook. What did I miss? One, two billiards? Nothing. This you. Yeah. This, mm, that is my friend, that one. Good friend. Confirm. <laughs> okay. Nick Wynn. Oh, uh, Ryan Nakarato, he just contacted me on Facebook to say that he's watching from the Elks Lodge. Hey, you need to come down here and uh, pick up your ticket for your, uh, for the Tiger queue. That's mandatory if you're an Elks member, by the way. You gotta come down and get your ticket. <laughs> Joe Bellow's got his ticket. Sitting right next to me right now. This is one of the most uh, beautiful games on a table that, it, that can be played. It is, I think it was voted somewhere that it's actually the hardest game to play ever. Oh. Hold on. Next match, 
Okay. And who Lee? Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Oh. Okay. Okay. Community. Let's go. A little bit of a jump on his cue. Ah, and he's short. Short, right? That's right. <laughs> Gil still smiling. He comes back to his chair. A little bit of a smile on his face. Question from Vornam in the chat room. Uh, are the players using diamond systems on the table? Uh, I do know that, uh, uh, you know, Gil has knowledge of diamond systems. Uh, there are diamonds painted on the table. Uh, you know, I would imagine that that comes into play. Uh, Vicky, I don't know if he knows systems or if he uses systems. I know that he's a f he definitely is a, 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 like a kind of a natural player. Um, but he may very well be aware of the systems. Vicky is? Vicky too, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I would imagine their, their, their system knowledge is, is pretty extensive from both, both sides of this match. I'm gonna guess Vicky's pretty close to the finish line. Just a moment, I'm gonna check the score the real score. I got to get up and do that, though. Okay, it's 28-17, and, uh, and, and I think uh, Gil just smiled because he's, he's missed. He's missed, uh, n n you know, by it very close, and I mean, how did that kiss come into play for, for, for Gil? That's crazy.
that's one of those shots where you know you think the table's playing against you And that's beautiful. There's a little space between these balls. think you have to if you have if you want to make this you have to really cinch off this ball elevate your cue a lot of draw and try to spin off the rail I don't think it's yeah it's I think he's now he's probably gonna double the rail you think oh up and down shot oh my goodness look at this look at this guy That was a great shot. Very well played shot. And another billiard from Gill. That's two now. That'll be three. No slowing this guy down right now, except the guy sitting in the chair waiting. Vicky Pineda only needs two. Huge deficit from uh, a huge deficit to, to recover from, but uh, not impossible. Short.
That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. Vicky needs one. That'll do it. Gil Najim is defeated by Vicky Pineda. 20, 30 points to 21. And um, tough to put up a fight at the last minute there, huh, Joe? Yeah. But, uh, but uh, that's what uh, Gil did. You know, he, he did have a, came to the table with a couple of good innings, but uh, you know, a run of seven from uh, Vicky, a uh, couple of other multiple runs from Vicky. It just, uh, just a, it's a little overpowering for Gill, considering that uh, Gill hadn't, hasn't really had enough time on this table. But that's not to say that he won't have more matches to play. This is round robin format, group of eight players. Uh, if you want to follow. Gil Najem, Vicky Pineda. You can follow Flight A on uh, povpool.com. Just go to the news page and click on the California Open blog post. You'll find uh, you will find uh, all of the flights and all of the players in each flight and their handicaps uh, via plus or minus or plus. Uh, plus up to five points uh, for each handicapped player. So with that, uh, stick around. We've got Stan Lee versus Guillermo Sosa. And uh, Guillermo Sosa is, let's just call him the Mexican monster today. Why don't we do that? He just came back from a major tournament in Ensenada where he came in second place. Uh, and uh, he's playing Stan Lee. No, not of Marvel Comics. Stan Lee. Or is that DC Comics? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Stanley, Korean player, I believe. He's going to be uh, playing against Guillermo Sosa. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share. <laughs>